Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, you guys, I don't normally show you this, but at the end of the video, I'm going to show you something and I'm going to talk to you about something that we normally don't talk about. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, let's get started. So in this video, I'm going to share with you hard goods that I sold on Poshmark, items that you should be on the lookout for, items you can hopefully buy low and sell for a profit. Poshmark is an awesome site for hard goods. So if you're not selling hard goods over there, you are missing out. There is a link down in the description. If you're not on Poshmark and you want to join, you can use that. Um, and it will alert me when you uh, join and I can follow you. And it is a referral link. I think I get $10 credit when you buy your first item. So um, not a big deal, but I would appreciate it if you guys used my link. So let's get started here with the first item. And the first item I sold is this Jelly Cat London Pink Medium Mint Fizz Pom Pom Plush. Um, I am Bolo Buddies over on Poshmark. If you're not following me and would like to, that is also linked down below. But this little Jelly Cat, I held out for a good price on it. Um, I just knew that it was going to do really, really well. It's super, super cute. Look how cute it is. Um, I ended up selling this for $54 and it still had the original tag on it, as you can see right here, um, which always brings up the value of the item as well. But where I got it, I actually received a mystery box from Mindful Recycle. It's been a while ago. Like I said, I priced this high and waited on the right buyer. But she sent me a box of awesome bolos. I have sold almost every single item in that box. And everything had such great value. It was so kind of her. And it was really a cool video because she had me unbox it. But there were clues. And I had to guess what was in each clue, um, each bag or each behind each clue. Anyway, Mindful Recycle is one of the biggest Bolo money finders I know. Go subscribe to her channel. You are going to be just shocked at the prices she gets for stuff because she just finds amazing items. She estate sale shops and she finds just incredible stuff. So go subscribe to her. I will link her down below. But that Jelly Cat sold for $54 plus shipping. The next item are these Halloween, uh, they're like barrettes and they're shaped like bats. So um, I got these in a bundle of hair accessories. So I sold those for $7. By the time um, I paid the 20% and I probably sent out an offer, probably only made a couple dollars on those, but you know, a nice little bread and butter item. The next item are these Lane Bryant jeans. And um, I don't show you guys a lot of clothing because if I showed you my clothing that I sold, you would be bored out of your mind. And we're going to talk about that later in the video. But these, um, I have probably 15 pair left. I've probably sold 20 pair of these. I sold these for $35 um, in the buyer paid shipping. I picked these up at a discount store for $3. And I will tell you which store I got those from at the end of the video. This right here, I picked up at the Goodwill Benz. It was a costume and it had this shield with it. And the shield's kind of big and kind of awkward. And I figured I'm gonna have to ship it in a box to protect it. And if I put it on eBay, it's probably not gonna sell because the shipping's gonna be so high. So I threw this up on uh, Poshmark only. Uh, typically I start my items on eBay and then I cross post them to Poshmark and Mercari because eBay is my main platform. I have tons of what sold videos for eBay. I use List Perfectly. Um, if you want to learn how List Perfectly works, there is a video in the description where I show you how. It's a how-to demo video. And um, you can check that out. If you like what you see and you want to try it, you can use coupon referral code BOLOBUDDIES, all one word, to get 30% off your first month. Okay. This thing sold within 24 hours. Uh, I maybe I underpriced it. I don't know. I sold it for seven bucks. By the time I sent the offer and um, paid the fee, I only made a couple bucks on it. But I do, um, I think that the costume was actually damaged. I can't remember. Or one of them I threw in the washing machine and it had like the muscles and all the, the fuzz came out. Oh, that's another story. Um, 
I was picking stuff like that fuzz stuff all out of my washing machine. So if you find those costumes that have like the muscles that are stuffed with like plushy stuff, don't don't wash them and dry them. <laughs> it doesn't work out very well. Okay, so that was a major bread and butter. Blaze and the Monster Machines. I sell these across all three platforms. This is a great seller. I sell it on eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari. They sell on all three. Um, this sold for $13 and the buyer paid shipping. It is Crusher and it's a slam and go. So you push down on the back and that makes it go forward. This is a vintage BMP British Museum Publications brooch. I got this out of a bulk buy, I believe, lot of jewelry and I sold this for $33 plus shipping. This is a Star Wars Force Link starter set. Um, I got these at Toys R Us when they were going out of business. Uh, I paid 10% of retail for it. Everything I purchased was 90% off or most of the items. So I probably had a buck in this. I, I don't think it retailed for very much or maybe $1.50. Uh, I sold this for $12 plus shipping. The next item I picked up, um, I believe this was from that garage sale after COVID. Or no, wait, I think it was after lockdown when things were kind of people were starting to get back out and somebody was having a moving sale and they were done. The garage sale was over and they're like, just take whatever you want free. And I have a video on that. It was, you know, it's been two, two and a half years ago. Um, I think this was one of those items, but it's a snuggy blanket. Again, a major bread and butter. Uh, I wouldn't recommend picking it up, but I did make some money since it was free. This little North Face jacket, again, I don't sell a lot of clothing anymore, but if I find uh, North Face coats that are for kids, I will put those up on Poshmark. But I sold that little jacket for $40 plus shipping. The next item here is this vintage Halloween ghost blow mold ink pen. And I got three of these at a garage sale a long time ago. And the first two sold fairly quick, but I just thought these were gonna be a home run super score because they were blow molds and they were pens and I'd never seen anything like it. Couldn't find any solds, but no, it wasn't that great. They took forever to sell. I sold this for $17, but it didn't sell on eBay, but it did sell on Posh. Here is one thing that I'm finding does very, very well on Poshmark. I have listed these a few times and they sell super quick. Um, it's also another thing that I have a tendency to not pick up. I will pick up small Legos, but the Duplos, I usually don't pick up unless they're like a themed set. But um, I got these from the Goodwill bins and I cherry picked it. I picked out like the good stuff, the, the figures, and I sold those separately. And then I was like, you know what? I'm just going to try this. And it sold super fast. I think within 24 hours for $19 plus shipping. The next item are these. Barbie potty training taffy pets, boy and girl dog. I think they, I don't know if they pee or they're called potty training. Maybe it just goes with the potty training um, set. Maybe they don't pee, but I got, I sold these for $18. I don't remember where I got them. Probably a garage sale. The next item are these vintage clip on earrings. Again, probably came out of a bulk jewelry buy and I sold these for $14 plus shipping. The next item is this crash belt buckle. And I kind of have a funny story about it. Um, Somebody sent me an offer on Poshmark and I went over to eBay to, um, I was going to make sure it was there to delete it. And it did not have a tote number on it. And I'm like, oh my goodness, I am not searching everywhere for this crash belt buckle because I didn't label where it was at. So it could be anywhere. So I just declined the offer on Poshmark and I deleted the listing because there was no way I was going to spend hours looking for this belt buckle. So long story short, I ended up finding it one day when I was looking for something else. So I went back and I relisted the item with the bin number. So I knew where to find it. And it sold for $20 uh, plus shipping. And it sold pretty quickly. And I, it's just unbranded. So nothing special, just a, a cool belt. This is a Disney store uh, die cast car set. I believe I got this at a garage sale for $5. I didn't write it down, so I apologize. But I sold this for $39 plus shipping. Anytime I can find um, things that are new in the packaging, definitely a good pickup. Um, these items do really well when it's getting close to Christmas. Um, people are looking for items for their family. So $39 plus shipping on that. These Dracula fangs, I have had these a long time as well, but uh, they sold. And they have a tag on the back that says, 
$1.99 retail. Now, I have heard people say, should I take that tag off? That's up to you. I left it on. I didn't really care. It's a vintage item. It's retired. Uh, I sold this for $15 plus shipping. So the next item is this Hallmark Tremblin Toads Lights and Sound Motion. I pulled this out of a thrift store mystery box and um, I sold this for $31 plus shipping and cute little item. And all of these items, you guys, were cross-posted and sold faster on Poshmark. All right. So let's talk about some clothing items. Um, back when I did retail arbitrage, and this is a really old photo because you can see it's laying on my carpet. Now I use photo room. Um, it whites out my background so I can take this photo. I can run it through photo room and it's going to look like it's floating a complete white background. That means I don't have to have a white background. My husband had made me a white background at one point and I just threw it away. I'm like, I don't need this anymore. I don't need to waste my time like trying to do this. I can just use photo room. So photo room is awesome. Um, if you haven't tried it, I also use it to make my thumbnails. So that's really fantastic. If you have a YouTube channel and you're making thumbnails, definitely look into uh, using it for that. But if you want to try photo room and you buy the year, like the subscription for a year, I have a 10% off um, link down in the description. It's a referral link. So if you click on that and then you buy the subscription for one year, you have to buy the year, you get 10% off. So, and it's not too bad. I think it's 100% worth it. Okay. So back to the pants. Um, I've sold these pants probably a hundred times. So when I did retail arbitrage, I would go into this store. It is called Discount Fashion Warehouse. If you are in Ohio, I think maybe a couple of the surrounding states might have them, but they used to have um, tag colors. And as the as they got older, the tags would go on sale. And it was to the point where I would get things at 90% off or 80% off. So if they had these pants listed for $13, their price, and it had a purple tag and purple tag was 90% off, I paid $1.30 for these. If it had a pink tag and that was 80% off, I paid $2.60 for these. On average, I paid about $3 per item for these clothing items, okay? And again, I would buy them all. I mean, I used to go in there and they didn't have carts. So I would just bundle these things up on my arm and carry them to the register and just have them start checking me out. I mean, I would spend thousands at a time. Um, this used to be all I did was clothing. So check out Discount Fashion Warehouse. They no longer do the tags like that, which is unfortunate. Um, but they do have good sales. I really don't know what they're selling there anymore. I don't know if they still have express. I used to buy express lane, Bryant, Victoria's secret. Um, those were some of the popular brands that I would pick up, um, mall brands, but brands that sell through pretty good. So I sold these pants for $24. Um, I sold this express skirt for 10 and I probably, this was probably a $10 item that I got at 90% off. So I probably had a buck in this, sold it for 10 buyer paid shipping. This dress, I have probably sold a hundred of these and I picked these up. I remember it was on a discount day and their dresses were marked down to $10 and it was 90% off. So I got probably over a hundred of these dresses for a buck each. I think I only have like three or four in size, extra small, small and medium left, um, sold out of my large and extra large. And I actually just increased the prices because I don't have many left, but this one sold for $40 plus shipping. The next item, express jogger, same situation, probably sold over a hundred of these. Uh, I do have probably about 15 or 20 pair left and I sold these for $22. So it's one listing multi-quantity, you sell it over and over and over again. That's what's great about retail arbitrage. And this express belt, same thing, picked it up there. Um, I think I have multiple sizes available in this. Yeah. So what I did is I just took a picture with my tape measure like that. And again, you can tell this is a very old listing because it's on my carpet. It was before I used photo room. I think it was before photo room was even around. Um, I have been doing hard goods probably for close to four years. So multi-quantity, a lot of them have been listed for years and years and years, but these items are still selling. These are things that 
I've sold within the last, last month. So um, still selling. List it and forget it. That's what I always say. Um, if you guys sell on Poshmark, do you only sell clothing? Are you thinking about selling hard goods now? Thank you so much for being here. Check out some of my other videos. If you're not on Mercari, I do have a sign up link down there. If you start listing on Mercari, you get $10 when you join credit to shop. And then once you sell $100 worth of stuff, you get another $20 to shop. So $30 bonus for using my link down below. And then I also get a credit. So it's a referral link. So if you guys want to use some of my links down below, I really only um, talk to you guys about things I use and I use on a daily basis. So I did kind of mention a lot in this video. Um, but those are things I use for my business and they help me be more successful. So those are all linked down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you at the next one.